name is Owen Smith, and I am the writer, director, and one of the actors in the first show that you're going to be watching called uh, The Mystery of Middletown Manor, uh, also starring Dylan Bradley and Samaya Walker, who is back there. Uh, I am one of two returning playwrights from last year's first Playfest, and the first piece that I wrote was Calamity's Ceremony, if any, anybody was here last year. Um, and I used that same kind of sleep deprived and improvisational energy to make whatever ended up happening here. Uh, <laughs> I think you're going to pick up on the comedic. Uh, noir murder mystery vibes that I borrowed for this, and hopefully you'll find this piece as entertaining as I may have uh, <laughs> had making this, or maybe I just haven't slept for 24 hours and my humor is completely shot. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, I give you uh, mur Mystery at Middletown Manor. It was a cool Tuesday night. Not many folks came in to tell me about the hip new crime scene. Phone lines were clear blue skies, and I was about ready to close up shop. I thought maybe crime had finally dissipated. And that's when she decided to call me. Uh. Yellow? Uh-huh. 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 A big scary mansion. A crazy caretaker. Secret fortune. I, I promise you I will get to the bottom of this. Mark my words, ma'am. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. In between Historic Avenue and Main. Historic Avenue. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to go take care of that now. Um, I'll call you back whenever I have more substantial information. You have a good rest of your night now. She said her name was Rose, Rose Fuchsia. She told me about a, a mansion in the middle of town that most thought was abandoned. But I guess somebody else still lives in that building. Someone Rose finds important for one reason or another. And so I hit the ground running. I pick my lazy bum off of this chair. Ah, I put out my evening cigarette. Got my things together. I made my way out. The directions that this girl gave me boggled me to my core. I mean, a mansion in the middle of Historic Avenue in Maine. And I've just been walking past it this whole time. And for anybody not familiar with the beautiful, bustling, big city, Historic Avenue in Maine rests directly in the center of town. But who knows, maybe I have seen this big, scary mansion before. Or how did, where did this come from? And before I could even step foot on the property of this eerie estate, I had to get past some of the city's night lurkers who sat at the gate. One look at these guys, and I could tell they're no good. Pickpockets, they're thieves, they're drug dealers, they could be anything. I may just have to find an alternate way to get into that. Hey, area. that is Sheriff. What brings you to this side of town this late at night? You knuckleheads don't even know what branch of justice I fall under. I, I don't have 
have to answer to you? Excuse me, detective. Detective, uh... Winslow, Detective Winslow. Uh-huh, Detective, uh, Winslow. You don't... You don't mean to tell me you're trying to go inside of Middletown Manor, right? Mm -mm. And if I am, what's it to a, a criminal like you? You haven't heard the terrible rumors about this place? What rumors? I heard that there is a goblin locked downstairs of an unknown goblin. origin. I heard that there was a treasure hidden by the original owners, and the house is filled with booby traps, so none of the criminal underground ever dared go in. Okay, well, I heard that the original owner of the mansion still haunts the place to this day, and he uses his own corpse as a meat puppet. Okay, these are fascinating stories, gentlemen, but these are all just rumors until proven otherwise. <laughs> you know, I ought to mug you right now. <laughs> Think of it as me saving oh. your life and stealing your money at the same time. All right, I have had enough of this. <laughs> And like that, I managed to make my way into this mysterious manor, and I left those sorry saps with soiled britches. <laughs> now, I managed to get inside with relative ease. In fact, the door was unlocked. But when I entered, I had seen an array of food. And the strangest part of it was, the food was fresh. And I was overcome with a hunger as soon as I entered the building. Perhaps subsisting on cigarettes and coffee all day isn't such a good idea. <laughs> as I looked around more and more, I noticed that the mansion's abandoned exterior had a rather well-kept interior in comparison. And the food, it didn't have a single speck of mold on it leads me to believe that maybe somebody does actually live in No! Where did you come from? My sincerest apologies. My name is Stasia, short form for Anastasia. I am the humble butler of this statue. A humble butler normally means that there's still a, an owner in some capacity. You wish to seek an audience with the owner? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, can you? I shall wait for the program now for post haste. Much appreciated. <laughs> I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. Oh, I'm just Detective Winslow. Mm, Mr. Winslow, might I ask that you don't smoke in the manor? mansion and I'm already freaked out. I came in here expecting cobwebs and furniture covered in blankets and what I got was a suspiciously clean house with a creepy butler, which makes me wonder what the master of the house is going to be like. Master, <laughs> you is changing out of her jammies as we speak. Master Fuchsia. Huh. Oh. Does that name seem familiar to you, Detective? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. I was called to investigate this mansion by a woman with a 
with the same last name. With the Gibson family name. Good evening, detective. Oh, good evening, Madam Fuchsia. My name is Detective Winslow. I'm very, very sorry for waking you at this ungodly hour, but I, I was here for an investigation. An investigation? Oh, my. Oh, well, I was hoping you might be able to answer some of my questions. Um, I was called here by a Rose Fuchsia. Is that a familiar name at all? Um, no, um, I, I, I don't, I don't think so. Um, you, you said her last name was Fuchsia? Uh, well, that's the information I was given. Oh, oh, um, let me tell you about my family lineage. Oh, no, that's really good. Okay, okay, so, story time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, my family, we're famous. We've been famous since like the mid 1800s for, you know, like making great perfumes and everything. And um, yeah, we have some of the rarest in the world. They're still rare to find today, and some are even in museums all the way across the world. That's fascinating, yeah. ma'am. So and I we have the number one top selling scent in the world. You ready? Croissant lilac <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> That was, you know, before they were discontinued. Crazy stuff, ma'am. Now I really okay, okay. Ask. Well, anyways, Anastasia, would you go and collect the finest wine from Diamond Cellar, please? Now. <laughs> At once, madam. So you were lying to me before. Uh, yeah, okay. So um Sasia, see, she, you know, she's 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 a monster. Um she's like actually the devil and she's after my inheritance. Um and you know, she will do anything to murder me and my family or anything to cause us harm as long as she gets my money. And you know, I've been held captured by um my own caretaker. I didn't realize how serious this was. Oh. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, I hear her coming, so I need you to take this. It's a, it's a perfume bottle. Yeah. <laughs> That's my most expensive one! <laughs> <laughs> it's my most expensive one, okay? All right. Not even Stasia knows about this, okay? So, just kind of chill, okay? And I need you to give it to Rose, because I think it's the last bit of her inheritance that I might be able to give her. Ma'am, you're talking to a detective, and what she's doing is super illegal. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to reach a dead end today. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, you oh. don't know her. Try me. I'm Detective Winslow of the BCPD. Big City Police Department, and I'm not gonna let some creepy butler take advantage of an innocent young. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, Madam Fuchsia! There's something. What happened? Oh! Oh! Hello? from my cold, dead hands. Very well. Oh, you're serious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 It's a whole butler. It's always a butler. I couldn't save her. But I promised her that I would give you this. 
You're gonna get your money back. Mark my words. 